Engagement is one of today's key challenges. How to connect with members with the purpose to do things and to co-create together. How to exchange services beyond traditional channels. How to promote best practices and detect outstanding talents. How to build up the comments and share knowledge. How to express the best of ourselves and be recognized by our peers. In other words, how to value our human capital, how to empower our network and increase wealth around us. These are relevant questions and, collectively, so far, we came up with little answers. We believe that new online currencies, based on trust and reputation, will be a breakthrough in the way we interact. By understanding the connection between relational dynamics and the mechanics of money, we can start to figure out how these new currencies will look like. Now, let's see the big picture. Money is an agreement within a community to use a tool as a means of exchange. The agreement is backed by a collateral, be it real estate, gold, or a promise to give back. The agreement is also based on shared values, trust, and collective unconscious. On the personal level, trust is based on self-confidence, which itself is based on inner motivation. While on the collective level, trust is based on peer review, and then on reputation. On the decision-making side, the agreement is reached by a governance within the community, which defines the attributes of the currency. A currency is thus a tool we use every day to conduct our exchanges. Like the Swiss knife, and depending on what you want from it, cutting a rope or opening a bottle, a currency affects our relationships accordingly. Academic research is telling us that there are four main relational dynamics in human history. The first one is related to tribes, where tribes are based on kinship, where solidarity prevails and where no currency is in use. Like when you're invited to a dinner, you do not drop a banknote on the table. This is coined as the gift economy. The agreement is backed by the promise to give a service back. The second form is the one of institutions, based on hierarchy, like the state or the church, with the money we know today as the main currency. Third comes the market, with speculation and wealth concentration at its core. And as we move towards the post-industrial era, unprecedented challenges and new values emerge, like solidarity, preservation, sustainability, cooperation, and resilience, to name a few. New needs emerge as well. Diversity is a key concept in food, energy supply, culture, and now in money too. We need a monetary ecosystem. These new values will most certainly affect the agreement upon which money is based on, and on the attributes of new currencies. Then fourth, Neo-tribes or social networks are becoming the new standard for human interaction. Like in ancient tribes, we share similar values, but we are not related by blood or brotherhood. So we need to secure trust amongst us. And this is our new challenge. It is time to develop qualitative currencies to reward cooperation so we can switch from profit to purpose. These new currencies will be based on trust and reputation. It is often said that attribution is the currency of commons-based systems. Attribution is linked to personal recognition and can be expressed in a social profile. Beside all values, spheres of interest for thinker like to connect, besides all talents and passion we wish to share and requests we may have in the community, we can have a wheel of recognized talents. 
Anytime we interact, we have the chance to qualify the exchange, the service, talent or skill provided, and even the good mood. With time, a display of peer-reviewed talents emerge and grow to the point where specific skills will be mutually recognized as being strong enough to engage trust. Reputation can vary from delivering high-quality professional services to just being a good person in the community. Good reputation opens doors, brings attention, shows the expertise one may have, raises influence and ease access to resources. Good reputation makes life easier. Another way to secure trust is to be able to browse through past interactions, to see who you trust, recommend a person or a service in the network, or to see who committed to a group or a project. Trust and good reputation are the doorstep to engagement, where members can connect with their opportunities. What's next then? We have a community. We have a humongous pool of underused talents. We have values, shared interest, theoretical background, the technology, the imagination and the will to do it. It is now all in the process. Like the Zulu say, we may easily know how many seeds there are in a pumpkin, but how many pumpkins there are in a seed, this is what we have to find out. Thank you.